Pastor Daniels, and our feast for today will be brought by Chef Eugene Brown, Pastor Amen. of Mount Olive, Glenville. Amen? Amen. So we look for something to enjoy and feast on the rest of this week until y'all have the turkey and all that other stuff. Amen? Amen. So uh, we don't have any deacons today, so we're going to um, ask, uh, we're going to call on the, the women this morning. Amen? Amen. And uh, we're going to ask that somebody from um, <coughs> Glenville give us one of those old hymns. Amen? Amen. Or anybody. to say a prayer for us. Amen. like it. <laughs> Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come. Mm -hmm. Thy will be done mm -hmm. yes. on earth mm -hmm. as it yes. is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Give us this day, this day. our daily bread. Mm -hmm. yes. And forgive us our debts. Mm -hmm. And we forgive those who trespass against us. Yes. Yes. My heavenly Father, I thank you for your grace and your yes. mercy as you yes. washed yes. us throughout the night last night. Yes. Yes. We allow many of us to wake up this morning being in our right mind with the activities of our right. them. Yeah. Be able to clothe ourselves and travel once, one more time mm -hmm. down the yes. next road to come together this morning to fellowship uh -huh. yes. and to worship you and give you the honor, the play, praise, and the glory, Father. Mm -hmm. yes. And I pray that you will bless all of us, Father. Yes, right now. Not only this day, but just to continue yes. to grow closer and closer and closer yes, to you. Have yes. your so way, that when Father. we leave this building, Father, yes. others are able uh -huh. to see the fruits within us. Yes. We are able to touch the hearts of the sinners and those who are not yes, attending Father. worship service, Lord. Yes. Yes. But Thank always, you. Father. Oh. Strengthen us uh -huh. to, sh to show the light wherever we go. Yes, Lord. And all that people will know that we are one of yours. Uh -huh. And bless this service in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What a mighty God we serve. Yes. 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 Amen. So, with that, we're going to close our devotional service. I thank all y'all for chipping in. I know I put y'all on the spot, but uh, we ain't gonna let nothing stop our show today. Amen? Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. We just coming to serve the Lord. Amen? Amen. 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 So now uh, we have our welcome. First, giving honor to God who is ahead of my life. It's just so good to be in the house one more time. Amen. And we're so happy to have all of you out to join mm -hmm. in this Thanksgiving program. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come again, may God bless you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank welcome you. once, we welcome twice, we welcome well. We thank all the pastors and ministers for coming out. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can you read the scripture? Okay. Um, now, uh, we're going to have a couple of poems. Amen. 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 Uh, now, I've got to figure out a mark. Thanksgiving this year. Thanksgiving this year. Have good cheer. Be with my family and friends. Give a hug or two. Tell someone you love them. Get on your knees and pray. Thank God for what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have. Thanksgiving this year. Lend a hand. Bring joy and peace. Think of all the things that God has done. Give to the poor. Give a smile and hug. Someone Amen. Amen. Today. Say thank you and please. Send them out in life, it don't turn out good. Amen? Amen. But it all starts at home. Amen. Amen.
and we pray that that home training includes some church training. Amen. 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 The Bible says, "Train a child up right, so they won't depart later on." Amen. 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 So, uh, like I say, uh, it's amazing. I remember when uh, I couldn't stand up in front of people, y'all. I used to uh, get nervous. I used to stutter. Okay, people would laugh at me. <coughs> And so, like, even doing the welcome, I could not do that. You know, I'd be terrified, shaking, and all this. I remember in high school, I took speech class. I was shaking and sweating so bad, my teacher said, baby, you, you can go and sit down, okay? <laughs> she, she felt sorry for me. <laughs> and then when I started preaching, it was still hard for me. I remember uh, the guy back there, uh, 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 Daniels. Yeah, Daniels. <laughs> Daniels used to laugh at me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? <laughs> They used to say, look at Rafer, he's just sweating, oh my goodness. <laughs> and so, but, 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 but you see how the training has to start, the training has, training has to continue, amen? That's right. And then you won't be shy, you won't be afraid, like I said, if somebody calls right. on you to, to pray or to, to, to sing a song or, or to help somebody out, amen? That's right, amen. amen. Like you say, I ain't ashamed of God, I don't want God to be ashamed of me. Amen. Amen. So Jesus said that. He said, you'd be ashamed of me down here. I'll be ashamed of you up there in front of my Father and all the glory. Amen? Amen. So uh, with that, we're going to have a, next we'll have a scripture followed by our responsive reading. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Our scripture will be found, uh, the 100 number of songs. 100 number of songs. Amen. One hundred number of songs. Y'all could stand. Amen. One hundred number of songs. Uh huh. And the word of God reads, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Mm -hmm. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Mm -hmm. Know ye that he is, know ye that he, know ye that the Lord, he is God. Mm -hmm. It is he that have made us and not we ourselves. We are mm -hmm. his peoples in the seat of his pastor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Yes. And into his court with praise. Yes. Be thankful unto him mm -hmm. and bless his name. Mm -hmm. Yes. For the Lord is good. Mm -hmm. His mercy is everlasting. Mm -hmm. And his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to his reading of his word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now we have a selection.
now we'll have our responsive reading followed by hymn number 362. So our, um, ignore that, our responsive read would today be number 611. 611. You find a hymnal in your pew, hopefully. If not, we have a few more in the back. Amen? Number 611. 611. It's entitled Thanksgiving. It'll be coming Amen. from Amen. Psalms 92, Psalms 95, and Psalms 107. Amen. So, responsive reading number 611. Does anybody need a, a hymnal? Number 611. And the word of God reads thusly. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto the name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindness every morning and thy faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon the sorcery, upon the harp, with the solemn sound. But thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy word. I will follow in the word of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make the Lord of noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. In his name, I mean, excuse me, in his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hands. Today he is going to give you the He pours content upon princes and causes them to mm -hmm. wander in the wilderness where there is no way. He has the The righteous shall see it and rejoice, and the iniquity shall stop her mouth. Of the and will observe, observe of the thing, thing. even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Amen. And our morning hymn is number 362. <laughs>
We're going to ask you to stand. We know we're entering the Thanksgiving season. Yes. But as I look around the sanctuary this morning, we truly have a lot to be thankful for. That's right. For the Christian, every day should be a day of thanksgiving. That's right. Because this morning, God woke us up to allow us to see another day that we have never seen before. That's right. We know inside the sanctuary, we got those who are sick and shut in. Uh huh. We got those who may need a touch, a healing touch this morning. That's right. So with all that said, we're going to ask you to bow your head as we approach God's throne of grace. Oh, gracious God, our Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. We come with thanksgiving on our hearts. Right now, Father. We come to give you praise for all that you have done. Uh huh. What you're doing right now and what you will do in the future. That's right. We realize as we look around, one needs you for one thing and one needs you for another. Yes. That's right. We realize, oh Heavenly Father, we can do nothing without you. Yeah. Nothing at all. Maybe somebody's worried about what the government gonna do. Uh huh. Maybe somebody's worried about their ends not making up to make their needs be met. Yes. Uh -huh. But Heavenly Father, your Bible says that you promised to supply all of our needs, all of our needs. according to your riches and glory, uh -huh. which is in Christ Jesus. That's right. We pray, oh Heavenly Father, that you will meet our every need. Yes. Maybe not our wants, but you promised to meet all of our needs. Yes. We thank you for this combined service. Yes, Lord. Greater New Jerusalem. My Lord in Glenville yes. and friendship, we thank you for allowing us to come together yes. with praise and worship on our mind. We yes. thank your heavenly Father for bringing us down the dangerous highways and byways. Yes. Some may have had a problem getting here, but the key is we're here. Yes. And because we're here, we're going to worship you for who you are. Yes. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. As we come almost to the end of November, as we almost come to the close of another year, as we look back, it was you that have kept us. It is you that have sustained us. It is you that have provided our every need. And we simply want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, the one that died on yonder's cross. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that he paid a price. He paid a debt that did we didn't know. So, Father God, we pray for this offering. We pray everyone that gave. We pray for everyone that had not to give that they may be able to give on the next time. For these and all blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. And if you love the Lord, say amen, amen, and amen again. To God be the glory.
touch me down in my soul. And, 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 and can't nobody touch you down in your soul like that with Jesus. Amen? Amen. Nobody but Jesus. Amen? Amen. <laughs> and say, can't nobody do me like the Lord. Amen? That's right. Amen. Amen. So, again, welcome again, y'all. It's so wonderful to have a full church, y'all. This is, this is abnormal for all of us. Amen? <laughs> So right now the three churches have filled one church, amen? amen. So I thank y'all. This is called unity, amen? amen? Amen. And this is all us being on one accord, amen? Amen. amen. So so this is we 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 are now into the holiday season. We 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 now That's into right. the season of giving. I ain't talking about Black Friday now. Come on, erase all, all right. that out your mind. All right. <laughs> it ain't about Black Friday, amen? amen. Amen. It's about being thankful to the Lord. Amen. That's right. Thankful. It's Thanksgiving. Yes. It's like, um, like every day to me is Thanksgiving. Yes. Amen. When these flat feet hit the floor, that is Thanksgiving. Yes. 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 Come on now. Say it. I'm not the only one happy in here uh -huh. about what the Lord has done for me. Yes. Well, that's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. So, so, so right now, I'm opening the floor all at once. I want everybody to talk all at once. And I want you to yell out what you are thankful for. One, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything. 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 Yeah. We all got so much to be thankful for, y'all. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Like I said, all of us have been through. Yeah. All of us have come close. Yeah. All right. of us have been in that room with the doctor and we didn't like what the doctor was saying to us. Come uh -huh. on. Now. Yeah. It ain't just me. Yes. It ain't just me. You've got something to be All thankful right. for. That's yes. right. Right. We serve an awesome God, y'all. Yes. He's yes. everywhere yes. all at yes. once. He knows everything, but still we got to be thankful. Yes. yes. Because he, like the song says, he's the one keep touching me down in my soul. Yes, yes. yes. You've got something to be thankful for today, y'all. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I got too much to be thankful for, y'all. Uh huh. I was telling them this morning in Sunday school. I know y'all tired of this story, but it's true. Amen. How God has saved me from hurt, harm, and danger. Uh huh. Death. Yes. Yes, sir. He's saved me from being totally broke, put out, and homeless. Uh huh. He's always. Let me have some sort of jalopy to go up and down the road safely. Amen. Yes. And I thank him for that. It sounds simple and stupid, but I remember when my car was cut off, y'all. Uh-huh. I had to wait 20 minutes. All right. It was 20 minutes. And then I, sometime I would try to cheat at 10. But at 20 minutes, it would start back up and I would keep going. I remember those days. I remember being out on the middle of I-16, in the middle of nowhere, and my car cut off, steam coming from under the hood. Uh-huh. Yeah. A lady stopped, gave me a gallon of Prestone, and I pulled out my little knife, cut the holes, put it back together, and kept on. But every, just think, it could have ended another way, y'all. Yeah, I could have right. been out there stranded, could have got hurt, anything, amen? Because yeah, when people pull over, they ain't always to help you, amen? Yeah, that's right, amen. So all of us got something to be thankful for. Yeah, that's right. I thank God every day, all day. I just can't praise him enough, y'all. Amen. amen. And, and, and one day these young people going to figure out why them old folks used to be clowning in church all the time. <laughs> How good the Lord was. Amen. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Say it. Your day gonna come, amen? Yeah. amen. And these are happy tears, okay? Yeah, that's they, right. they say a grown, grown man ain't supposed to cry, but I don't mind crying for the Lord. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, it's so good, y'all. Yes, he is. Yeah. He still got some work for me to do. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. We're still yeah. here. Yeah. We should be giving thanks. Unto the most high. Amen. That's right. We should be praising his holy name like David always said. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come into his gates with thanksgiving. Amen. 
Amen. Come in this gates with praise. Yes. yes. You don't come in God's house. No, you come in with your mind open and your heart That's ready right. to receive. That's right. Amen. 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 So, again, thank y'all so much for coming. And I, I didn't mean to preach because I got a preacher right here ready to go. Amen. Amen. That's all right. His name is Pastor Eugene Brown. Amen. He's a good friend of mine. Yes. And he knows the other guy wherever he is. Uh, there he is hiding in the back on the bench. <laughs> it's so amazing how the three of us yeah. met and God put us together. Amen. Amen. We were in the parking lot at Friendship and we all huddled up and start introducing each other and look what God did. Amen. Amen. Started a fellowship. Amen. All of us are best friends. We break bread together. We talk. We always want to hear the other sermon. Amen. Yes. We're close. Amen. We're tight knit. We talk ourselves the three amigos, amen. <laughs> amen. So it is my pleasure, church or well, churches. And again, thank all y'all for coming. Amen. Yes. No matter what church you're from, thank y'all so amen. much. But I do thank Friendship and Mount Olive Glenfield for amen. coming. But no matter what your church is, affiliation, thank y'all all for coming once again to this combined amen. service. Amen. amen. I pray that we can keep doing this, amen. 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 So it's a wonderful turnout, but like again, I'd like to introduce to you um, my friend, mm -hmm. the pastor of Mount Olive Glenville, mm -hmm. Pastor Eugene Brown. Amen. 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 Pastor of the church, Church Pastor Brown. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters in Christ, if you have your Bible with you, would you please turn to the 100 number of Psalms? Right. Amen. Psalms 100, from verse 1 to verse 5. Mm -hmm. right. Psalms 100, verse Amen. 1 to verse 5. Those of you that can stand, would you please stand? Those who can, God understand. Yeah. Amen. 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 And what thus says, the Lord. Yes. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you land. Yes. Serve the Lord with gladness. Amen. Come before his presence with singing. Amen. Knowing you that the Lord, he is God. Amen. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. We are his people yes. and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Verse 4. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Yes. And into his court with praise. Amen. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Yes. Verse 5. For the Lord is good. good. Yes, his is. mercy is everlasting. Yes, yes, yes. His truth endure to all generations. Yes. You may be seated. Amen. Oh, Amen. Heavenly Father, our Lord and our God, yes, we just want to thank you for this day, Father. We thank you for you being God and being God all by yourself. Yes. We thank you for your darling son, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. We thank you for the third person of the Trinity that's dwelling inside of each and every one of us. But God, more than anything else, we, don't want to, we just want to thank you for the fellowship today, Heavenly Father, that brothers and sisters can come on one accord to serve you, Heavenly Father. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank God. Amen. amen. I uh, almost jumped out of my seat when I heard Reverend Johnson when he read the 100 number of Psalms. I said, God, have your way. Now, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I am here as your usher. I am here as your conductor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am here to serve up or try to serve up a meal mm -hmm. for you today. Yes, now this meal is not my meal, mm -hmm. but it is the word of God. Yes, sir. Yes. For some of you that love lamb to lamb, mm -hmm. we have Jesus, the yes, lamb of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For some of you that love choice steak, we have God the Father. Yes. For some of you just like 
seafood or any other kind of vegetable or anything else, we have the Holy Spirit. Yes. Three in one, God bless the Trinity. Yes. Now we're not here today to, how can I say it? To put on a show mm -hmm. or fashion. Yes, yes. But we had to serve God on one accord. Yes. And we had to give thanks unto God. We had to give thanks unto Jesus. We had to give thanks unto the Holy Spirit. We had to give thanks unto every and each and every one of us that's in this ecclesia or this church today. Amen. Yes. If I had to give this message a title, it would be make a joyful noise. When you're making a joyful noise, I'm not talking about a, a, just an, oh, any kind of noise. I'm talking about a noise of prayer. I'm talking about a noise of praise. I'm talking about a noise of thanksgiving. I'm talking about tell our Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to thank you for everything that you have done for me. Father, I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for your darling son, Jesus the Christ. I will Lord and Savior. Father, I don't care what's going on in the world today. I know that it's going to be all right anyway because God said, I believe it, and that's the end of it. Yes. And the Bible said, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Whatever God has promised us, we can put our foot on it. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. And when we do that, Let's make sure that we are right, y'all. Yes, Let's make sure that we are doing exactly what thus says the Lord. Yes, because we can say a lot of things, yes, but what does it mean? Does it have any substance to it? Does it have any blessing to it? Does it have any structure in it? Well then, I hope and pray today, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that I may say something that would render to your life, that I will say something to make someone know who don't know Christ as their Lord and Savior would say, what must I do to be saved? Just let me know. And Father, I'll stretch my hand to thee. No other help that I know. The author, mm -hmm. they say it is unknown, mm -hmm. but that's a misprint. Mm -hmm. The author is none other than God. Mm -hmm. The author is Jesus the Christ, yes. our Lord and our Savior. Yes, A call to praise yeah. the Lord, praise not man, but God. Yes, Psalms 100 is the only Psalms expressly called a Psalms for giving yes. thanks. Yes. The Psalm is an embodiment yes. and of a gratitude for Christians have felt this for generation to generation. Yes. As many poets has turned it into verses and it has become a song to serve a well-known tone. And Psalms 100 is also known as the old hundreds. Is that right? And the first line of the psalm read, All people that dwell on the earth sing to the Lord with cheer. Sing to the Lord with gladness. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Is that right? Yes, it is. And you see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, when we look at the psalms, the first part of his explanation is half through the Psalms and the second half is the 100 number Psalms including A, the statement of how to give thanks. Yeah. B, an explanation of why God's people must give thanks. C, an invitation to give thanks for or D, a final great expression of praise and thanksgiving. As long as I live, I will praise the Lord because His Word, His Holy Spirit is indwelling inside of all of us. Is that right? Yes, it is. Now you see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, in Psalms, 
100, read from verse 1 to verse 3. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know you that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us. And not we ourselves. We are his people. And the sheep of his pasture. What does that mean? Well, God is our king. Jesus is the shepherd of God. Is that right? Yes, it is. And he is our shepherd. Now, when we go to Psalms 66 and 1. Make a joyful noise unto God, all you land. Mm -hmm. The Psalms will be sung when Israel and the Messiah at the open of the millennium will be on one accord. And in Psalms 88 and 1, the word of God says, Sing aloud unto God, our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. When we that expression is to the God of Jacob means that God all grace. They are his Old Testament and the New Testament title. Israel Messiah is the speaker. Jesus the Christ our Lord and Savior in the Son and in his are the tender thoughts, the loving kindness, the pursuit and happiness and heartfelt of the shepherd. I promise my brothers and sisters in Christ, I won't be with you long if you pray for me and you pray with me. Amen? In Matthew chapter 23, verse 37, the word of God said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned them with are sent unto you. How often would I have gathered unto your children together, even as a hen gather her chickens under her wings, and you would not serve me. And in Luke, brother Luke said, ninth, chapter 19 verse 42, the word of God said, singing if you had known even you at the least at this your day, the things which belong unto your peace. In other words, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the things that Israel could have had, had they only obeyed the word of God. Are we obeying God's word today? Are we loving him like we should? Do we serve him like we are supposed to? Do we give him our all in all? No, we don't. No, we don't. I'm going to tell you the truth. No, we don't. Because I don't all of the time. You don't all of the time. No, we do not. Because if we did, why do we have the audacity to say, Lord, why do you have that election to go the wrong way instead of the way that we want it to go? And then we began to criticize. No. Remember this. God never makes mistakes. There's a reason and a purpose for everything that happened to us in this world. God is trying to show the United States of America that I am still God and I'm God all by myself. I'm not pleased with what you are doing. I'm not pleased about how you treating my people. I'm not pleased about you serving me the way you're supposed to serve me. And my brothers and sisters in Christ, if we really want to Look at it. We can go all the way back in Egypt days. Mm -hmm. We can go all the way back to when God sent Joseph into Israel. God allowed Joseph's brothers to, to, to have him traded by the Ishmaelite. And they sent him into, into Egypt. And God sent him there to preserve a nation that in other words, the children of Israel will be saved. They will not stop when the famine came in, into the land. And the Bible said they were a king or an Egyptian who did not know Joseph of as the son of God or child of God in other words. But you see my brothers and sisters in Christ the Israelite was saying what happened? But God had a purpose for it. And then came Moses. 
Moses saw his brother and my brothers and sisters in Christ being enslaved by an Egyptian captain. And he killed a man. And when he found out that he killed a man, he began to look around, Brother Raven. He began to look around and say, Did anyone see me? What I did? And he said to himself, I got to flee. I got to run. I just killed a man. And he went on into Media. And he began to, to go to Jephra house. And Jephro taught him some things, but that was just the beginning. And then Moses asked Jephro, what is that on top of the mountain on Mount Sinai? And Jephro said, I heard it was Jehovah God that was up there just waiting and meditating. And Moses at the bottom of Mount Sinai, he had an encounter with the Lord. Moses looked. He saw the fire was being burned, but not consumed, wasn't being burned up. And just like Moses, we are nosy. We got to see what's going on. Let me say it. No, I ain't going there. Look right now. I ain't going there. Ain't nothing going on. And the voice of God said from heaven, Moses, Moses, take off your shoes because the ground you're standing on is holy ground. Let's give thanks unto the Lord today. But Moses still did not understand. And God had to put it to Moses plainly. I've heard the affliction of my children down in Egypt. I've heard their cry. I've heard them saying, my taskmaster, I can't take it no more, God. Give us the relief right now, Father. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. And then God tell Moses, I'm going to send you down there. And again, just like us, Moses said, Lord, giving him excuse. Yes, sir. Yeah. Lord, I have a speech impediment. Yes. I can't do it. Uh-huh. God said, Moses, who made your mouth, Moses? In other words, Moses, I'm going to be there with you. Don't worry about it. I will help you. I will lead you. I will be right there. Oh, let's give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy and do it forever. Yeah. But you see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and he told Moses, I want you to go back and talk to the elders. Yes. So you see, pastors, mm-hmm. we're not in this by ourselves. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. We have to go back and talk to the elders ourselves too. And when he began, when you talk to the elders, let them know who I am. Tell them that I have sent you, Moses, and tell them that you had an encounter with me. Moses said, God, who am I supposed to say? Send me. I don't know you, Lord. Go tell them I am. Yeah. See, the elders, yes, the wise, yes. the experienced, yes, sir. Know who I am was God Jehovah, yes, sir. God Almighty, yes, sir. the Alpha and Omega, yes, sir. the first, the last, yes, sir. the beginning and the end. Yes, sir. I am that I am. Whatever you tell them, just tell them I am sent you. Yes, and Moses went. Mm-hmm. But see, yes, that was just the beginning, my brothers and yes, sisters sir. in Christ. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Moses talked to Aaron because Moses still had a problem. In other words, how can I say it? Mm-hmm. Pastor Daniels, you know about this. Pastor Rafers, you know about this too. The maximum effective range is what? Zero hundred Zero. minutes. Mm-hmm. What I mean by zero hundred minutes? There is no excuse. Yes, I don't care what you say, why you can't help, there is no excuse. I don't care what you say, why you can't give your tithe and offering, there is no excuse. I don't care what you say, why you cannot serve God the way you're supposed to serve Him, there is no excuse. None whatsoever. We do things because we love doing it and we want to be disobedient instead of obeying. God's word. I'm almost through, y'all. Continue to pray for me. And Psalms 95 and verse 1 said, Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Psalms 94 portray the wilderness journey. Now the first finger of dawn are about to break upon the millennium morning. The long night of Israel, weeping and mourning in day and night, is about to come to an end. Israel is getting ready to see their Messiah. 
a joyful noise oh, yes. that we are making mm -hmm. in the singing and hymns of Psalms. Yes, and in Psalms 96 verse 1 to verse 3 said, mm -hmm. let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Yes, yes. Make a joyful noise unto him with the Psalms. What that means is we are given he wonderful and directed by the Holy Spirit concerning the approach of the believers to the Lord. It is to be with thanksgiving and singing. In other words, my brothers and sisters in Christ, when we do something or when we give it, make sure it's from the heart. I don't mean this heart right here. The heart, when you talk about the heart, means the mind. Yes. Why is that? Because everything starts at the mind yes. and trickle all yes. the way down. In other words, if you can get that mind together, the heart will follow. And that mind means being in the spirit with God. Means being united and connected to God and his word. Yes. And you see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, when we sing of the Lord with harps and with with tespers or trumpets and when we sing with harmony that's when we are in unity with the word of the living God yes, and all of these instruments together built up unity yes, sir. build up prosperity yes. build up blessing for us and praising God. Amen. And my brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm almost through. We look at Psalms 100 verse 3. Mm -hmm. Knowing you that the Lord, he is God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is who has made us and not we ourselves. Yes, we are his people uh -huh. and the sheep of his pasture. Yes, Several things are said in this verse. Mm -hmm. One, Jesus is God. Yes, sir. Not Buddha. Not Muhammad, mm -hmm. not confusion. Right. We are the product of his hand. Yes, sir. Not a product of selfless mind or something called evolution. One of the biggest lies that was ever told. Yes, Number three, he saved us. He could not save, we cannot save ourselves. We have to have the blood of the Lamb, Jesus the Christ, yes. our Lord and Savior. Number four, we are his people. Number five, we will fortress on his pasture. And wonderful pasture that will be when we see our Lord face to face on one accord. One, and, and Psalms 100 verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his court with praise. Be thankful unto him. Bless his name. The psalmist also embrace us and saying that the importance of the gratitude in his worship. Enter into his gates by thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful to him. Bless his name. As we approach God, we should cultivate a heart filled of thanksgiving and praise acknowledging his past the blessing celebration of who he is let us serve God joyfully bless his holy name exalt him on the highest expressing gratitude and a potential force that can help us when we in times of need. Mm -hmm. You know my brothers and sisters in Christ, mm -hmm. the most important thing is this. Mm -hmm. No matter what we do, mm -hmm. let's give thanks. Yes, sir. No matter what they say, mm -hmm. let's always give thanks. Yes, For the Lord is good and his mercy is yes, everlasting yes, and his truth mm -hmm. endureth to all generations. Yes, Everything else fails. But the ways were by the wayside. While his truth, God's truth, his mercy, his grace will always endure until the end. From everlasting to everlasting. And you see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, whatever we do in this world, let's do it right. Whatever we do... Let's make it right. Yes, Whenever we plan something, let's take it to God in prayer first. Yes, let's make sure that we hear 
from the Lord. Uh -huh. Today, as I was coming down here, about sometime last month, I was talking to my members. And I told Sister Upshaw that I don't do clear or woods or I don't do feel. And she said, well, Pastor Brown, what are you talking about? I said, well, I've been in the infantry for 21 years, six months. Oh, yeah. And I have a problem with going through countries and up and down. But still yet, God is still faithful just the same. Yes. And the reason why he's so faithful just the same, I'm going to leave this with you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. One of God's promises, or some of God's promises, I've seen the lightning flash, I've felt the thunder roar, I've heard sin breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul, but I heard the voice of Jesus said, servant, continue to fight on. I will never, never leave you alone. You see, I'm standing on the promises of God. I cannot fail when a holler and stand stand without a sail. By the loving word of God, we shall prevail. I'm standing on the promises of God. Now, let me tell you something else. Let me tell you what he promised me. What he promised me is this. In Matthew chapter 28, he says, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. He promised me that if I abide in him and he abide in me, he will make me his own. He promised me when I go through the fire, the fire won't burn me. When I go through the water, the water won't drown me. When I go up in the mountain, he promised me he would go before me. He promised me he would hear me when I call. He promised me he's going to catch me when I fall. He he promised me that whatever I'm going through, it's going to be all right. And he promised me that when I'm through down here, he said that I've got shoes, you got shoes, all of God's children got shoes. When we get to heaven, we're going to put on our shoes and jump and shout all around God's heaven. Is that right now? I got a robe, you got a robe, all of God's children got a robe. When I get to heaven, I'm going to put on my robe. Yeah. I said, Lord, I thank you for saving a rest like me. Lord, you've been too good to me. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And you see, my brothers and sisters of Christ, yes, sir. Yes, sir. when we're going through some things, it doesn't mean a thing. God is always with us. When you think that the morning is not going to come, yes it will. When you think that the enemy is going to conquer you, no they won't. When you think that there is no way that you can make it, yes there is. Jesus. The Lamb of God, Jesus, the Son of God, Jesus, that rock in the weary land, Jesus, that shout in the time of the storm, Jesus, the great I am, Jesus, the rock of Sharon, Jesus, that's all we need, that man called Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noonday, Jesus at night, Jesus, Jesus, that's all we need. Yes, Jesus. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. The doors of the church are not open. You see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the same Jesus that nailed him to that old rugged cross, but he never said a mumbling word. Jesus said, "If I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw." Oh man, unto me, the Bible said, they passed him in his side, and blood and water came gushing out, blood for remission of sin, water for baptism, and they took out Jesus, and then marched him on up to God, got the hell, you may be seated, but Jesus, as he was on this cross, y'all, he said, Father, it is finished, forgive them, God, for they know not what they do. And one of the male factor that was with him said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus said, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. And they took him off that old rugged cross. They placed him in a borrowed tomb. 
and he stayed there all day Friday. He stayed there all day Saturday. And early that Thursday morning, early Sunday morning, Jesus got up with all power in the palm of his hand. Amen, amen. Thank God. Amen. And again, my brothers and sisters in Christ, now, no one can save you but Jesus. Amen. No one can treat you the way Jesus do. Mm -hmm. yes. And I don't want you to leave from this ecclesia today mm -hmm. and you don't know who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to leave from this ecclesia today if something should happen to you and you're not prepared to meet your maker. Yes, mm -hmm. Are you sure that you sure that you sure mm -hmm. you don't need Jesus? Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I need him all of the time, all of the time. Amen. 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 brother. Amen. 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 Did not my brother preach? Amen. 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 So like you say, uh, we got to know Jesus. You got to know him for yourself. Amen? Yes. Amen. Amen. Say, big mom and all them came. I mean, they prayed for you and all that, took you to church and morning bench and all that, but you got to know Jesus like for you yourself. Said. Amen. 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 Like he said, don't leave here today if you're not sure you know Jesus. Amen? Amen. It's like I say, I was telling this morning, my daughter almost got killed. And so the pastor Daniel almost got killed last week. Amen. Yes, sir. So, like, so you get in the car, start up, go here, go there, but you might not come back. Amen. My daughter drove and had to get another way back home. Amen. Amen. So, like I say, we don't know, we don't know when or where, but you got to know Jesus before That's you right. meet so Him. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Amen. so you got to know in your heart, yes. you'll know. Yes. And so, like I say, once you know Jesus, you at ease. So I ain't scared. Like you say, you always speed, Amen. looking for the cop. Oh, where they at? Where they at? Like you running. Mm -hmm. But when you made peace with God, you ain't running. You calm. That's right. You calm about things. You got a strength about things. Amen? Amen. So, so that's something to be thankful for. Amen. That's something to know in your heart that I got somebody I can run to. Yeah. Amen. Somebody I can count on. Yes. Somebody who's all powerful, like you said, in Sunday school this morning, everywhere. <coughs> he know everything. I can't hide from him. Amen. But it's a good thing. Amen. It's a good thing to have yes. a Lord like that. Amen? Amen. So we should be thankful. Amen? Amen. He meets our every need. Amen? Amen. He protects us from hurt, harm, and danger. Amen. So real quick, i like to ask Pastor Daniels, would he stand and wave his hand? Amen. You got anything you'd like to say? I appreciate y'all. Okay. Thank y'all. Good. Okay. So again, thank y'all so much for making this program a success. Yes. And uh, we're going to try to keep doing this if the Lord willing. And this was Amen. a wonderful turn. I'll give yourselves a hand clap of praise. Amen. Okay. Thank y'all so much. And I would like to thank our choir. I'd like to thank our ushers. Amen. And I'd like to thank uh, our kitchen committee who's back there. So Amen. we have some food. So uh, we would ask that. Uh, New Jerusalem, let our, all our guests go first, please. And um, like you say, we got food for y'all. And it's not Thanksgiving dinner. We decided not to do that to y'all. <laughs> so, so Thanksgiving, I said, I just had that Sunday over in New Jerusalem. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so, 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 so I got outvoted, y'all. So we got something a little different. Amen? Amen. So um, thank y'all again so much for coming. Deep, you got anything? Okay. All right, thank y'all so much, everybody, for coming. I'm trying to stop running my mouth, but I enjoyed church today. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, um, again, uh, let us all stand. <laughs> been 
said, what has been done. Father God, we thank you because this is what we are celebrating, Thanksgiving. It's not a day, it's a season, Father. It's a year-long holiday, oh Lord. So we give thanks right now, Father, for today. Father, I give thanks for all those under my weak voice for safe travel. Father, we pray for safe travel all the way back from where we started from. Father God, we thank you for the food that's been prepared. Father God, bless it. Let it be nourishment to our bodies because our soul has just been fed from on high. So once again, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And they all said, Thank y'all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my brother. And you can go through this.